What's going on everybody? It's your boy Skits. Back again. How's everything been going? So we're back on YouTube and I've had a video about editing back fat or the, the, the rolls on your skin whenever you're leaning kind of this way in the photo shoot. Um, I've had mad complaints because the video was long as crap. I mean it was not long. It was fast as crap and no one could see what was going on. So this is going to be a step by step video. It may be long. But it's going to be step by step on how to edit some back fat and some other editing tips within there. But the main focus is that, that the rolls when you're someone's looking like this and they kind of rolled and got the rolls right here. Those, it's going to be the main focus of the video. So here we go. All right. So you want to edit this portion here. This is the portion we're looking at. All right. First thing you want to do is make sure you always... Make sure you always duplicate. So you want to hit duplicate command J. So you want to um, duplicate your layer. I'm assuming most people know the buttons, but I'm a, I'll say them every now and then. But I won't remember to say it every time. So if I don't say it, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, you can use your lasso tool. I think that's what this thing is called. No, this is a patch tool. Patch tool. Patch tool. So take the patch tool and you can actually just go around the trouble area, which is right here. There's actually a couple trouble areas here. So it's here and it's here as well. So what we want to do is we want to try to take this dark spot and blend it with this top part and this bottom part. So really what we want to do is come as close. Computer's tripping. Oh, no, 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 no. Command Z, Command Z. We want to come as close to the dark spot as possible so we don't take away too much of the area we want to keep. And what we can do is you slide it up, slide it up, slide it up, slide it up. See how it kind of like fills in. It doesn't look perfectly, but we're going to fix that here in a second. And so you want to, we're going to take some more of this darkness. We want to try to get that dark spot just to blend. So if we go to the lighter spot, it'll kind of help it blend just a bit more. There we go. So now it's starting to look like something. And we just want to blend that away. Boom. All right, so now see this next dark spot right here? We want to, um, same thing pretty much. So we want to come here because that's a indentation. Whenever it's dark and light, so light is usually closer to you and dark is usually further away. So that means there's an indentation there. So we want to come. We want to try just pretty much the same thing. Bring it to the light spot. Boom. There we go. So it looks bad right now, but what we're going to do is something called frequency separation. And we're gonna um, clean all this up. So that's how it looks right there. Like, ooh, it looks bad. It looks real bad. So here we go. And this is only one way to do it. I've done it a few other ways, but this is one way you could do it. So you know, we're just cleaning it up just a little bit more, trying to get everything looking about even. And remember, see this light? You wanna? We're gonna rebuild this light going through here as well. Cause you can see this light doesn't go this way. It, usually, it really comes this way. So, cause the light is gonna go woo -hoo. See this right here, we can take that. So that, boom. All right, so we got that there. See that light? We're gonna make that light follow. We're gonna get this looking smooth. All right, so here's what we do. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a, two of the same layer. One, two. We're gonna name this color we're gonna name this texture because it's the texture layer and this is gonna be our color layer so we're gonna, we're getting ready to do is called frequency separation all right so now we're gonna go up here to the top no lied we're gonna go up here to noise dust and scratches I like to keep my dust and scratches around 13 so that way it um it blurs but it doesn't take away the lines. Doesn't scratch keeps these lines real nice and sharp. So hit OK. Then we wanna come up to your texture layer and click the I thing, turn it back on. You wanna go to apply to the merge. So you wanna actually apply this to your color layer. So hit there. You want to invert it. You want to make sure your scale is at two, 
and then you want to make sure this is at add and then hit OK. See it looks bad right now but now what's going to happen you, you go to normal go to linear light and it goes back to where it was. Magic. Like why are you doing all this? So what happens is this separates the color from the actual texture of the picture. Here that's the actual texture and it's the color and you have a picture. Alright so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the color there we're going to highlight this whole area just like that and then we're going to come up here make sure you click on your color there come up here to the uh, Gaussian blur Gaussian blur and then you want to click Gaussian blur and I like to keep mine around 3 because that way you don't see a ring around wherever you're you're blurring. And then just um I have this hotkey set, so I'm not sure what the I think it's command F or command option F to um to trigger this. So yeah, see right here is um I think it's command option F. So this is gonna trigger, but I have a hotkey set on my um actual Wacom tablet that I use. So so you can, so I can just keep triggering it. So you want to kind of like trigger it to where it blends it in. Look at that nice blend we got going on there. See that looks good. All right, so we got a, we got a blend going on. Got a little bit red in there. We'll get to take care of that in a minute. Little, so you just want to get that blend nice. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You want to just look at it. See, okay, boom. Look at that. So see, it's already coming together now. You gotta get that red out. That's simple to get away. See, we can either, there's a couple ways we can do it. We can either take it, we can move it over here. Red's gone. Boom. Move it. Move it. And we're gonna do some um, color correcting anyway. But this is, we're just trying to get rid of this actual portion of it. So, boom. Boom. It's gone. We'll do some more blending. So you highlight and then you hit it with the, the Gaussian blur. Just keep clicking until it's gone. Right there, I'm not it's coming back again. So we're gonna kind of move it. It's kind of pulling colors around. There's a lot of colors in this picture. It's a really colorful picture. Boom. So we did that. Boom. All right. So now. What I'm probably gonna do is borrow from here to heal all this up. So, what I wanna do is I can use the same tool that I've been using and let's highlight some of these little lines that shouldn't be there. And see, this is only taking texture, so we can move texture around now without affecting the actual color, see? Because we're on the texture layer. Make sure you're on the texture layer when you're doing this, not the color layer. So see, now we're gonna move it around we can even take, like say we wanted to put some more texture there, texture from her arm, or we can get texture from her shoulder, we can get texture from the shoulder, wherever there's a little bit of texture, we can get a little texture, texture oh, right there has got some good texture, so we can move this texture there, yeah, right there, and we can move that texture from there, we got a little bit of weirdness happening here, so we just want to kind of pull it over. Over. And if you can get some stuff like that, you can always switch to your um, clone stamp tool. Make it a little bigger. Hold down Alt. Click somewhere you want to where you want to get your thing from, and you can just kind of rub over it, rub over. It. So we want to look at the uh, uh, the color and see why it's doing that. You see right there why it's a little bit darker. So you want to take care of this darkness. Yeah. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of Gaussian. Make sure we're on the color layer. Hit it with the gauze. Hit it with the gauze. All right. Also, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the smudge tool, smudge, more blur, blur tool, not smudge tool, blur tool, and we're gonna rub it over here. It's kind of blur all these different colors into place. All right. There we go. All right, boom. OK, 
Okay, okay. One thing I don't like is this right here. I'm not sure where that came from. Um, let me see. I'm gonna go back. Let's go back to the beginning and see where it was. Okay, so that came from that actual line that was cuffing down from the uh, from the wrinkles. So let me get rid of that as well. And that's gonna be here. Behind like that. I'm just gonna push it back a little bit to get rid of it. Oh. Let me get a little bit of texture on the outside. It's a little dark still, right there. Like that. Just a bit. And right here, the trouble spot. Perfect, perfect. There we go. And then boom, 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 boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Don't mess all that up. Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. <laughs> so let me get some more color there. All right. So I mean, you can already see that we we've already fixed the wrinkles. Now we just need to clean it up. See that light? Remember that light we were talking about earlier? That light right there. We need to bring that back. We can kind of fix right there that little area. We're on the color layer, pulling pulling the color down. That's where the light is, and boom. All right. So now, what we want to do? Now that we fix that area, we want to fix the rest of the picture. So that's how you edit back fat. Um, in the next video, we're gonna edit the rest of the picture, clean up the skin, clean up the face, fix the colors, pull out the red, kind of like make more even colors throughout the whole picture. So if you want to see that. Click on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if, if there was an easy way that you found to do it. Because there's plenty of ways to do that. That was just a quick way that I know to do it. But there's way more ways to do it. And it's way better ways. Way easier ways. Harder ways. More intricate ways. There's different ways. There's different ways to skin a cat. So if you like the video, remember to subscribe. Hit the like button. And then tell me what you think.